I used to tell myself that I couldn't fail. I tried to get it into my head that failure wasn't an option. But the more and more I struggled against it, the more something became profoundly clear. That despite my attempts to hide my failures, to ignore that they existed, they kept coming. And the more and more I tried to resist, the worse they became. One moment I'd be flying high, convincing myself that I'd have all the power in the world, but then the next, the next, there was silence. Do I have everybody's attention now? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Spectre, and welcome to my show. And I must say, I've lost a lot of time. I've been meaning to come back to, you know, grace my audience with my wonderful voice. But, that didn't quite happen. And you all know how much I hate to lose. <laughs> In fact, if you didn't, you're about to learn. I have a legitimate problem with failure. You see, I don't like to lose. I hate losing, in fact. So for a very long time in my life, I tried to make sure I was on top of everything. Failure wasn't failure, it was just another opportunity to succeed. Try another strategy, attempt something new. I couldn't lose. That's what I genuinely believed. Then I lost that edge. Something in me, that thing that told me that failure wasn't an option and that I had to succeed no matter what. Seemed like the only thing I could succeed at. Was failure. It would have probably been different if I was losing some kind of game. But that wasn't the case. I wasn't losing something as trivial as, like, a board game, or just something like that. I was just losing people. Forming bonds that I resisted to begin with. Because that wasn't a part of the plan. Caring about someone else wasn't a part of the plan. Someone like me who had to be sure that everything happened exactly as they were supposed to, that not having a plan was terrifying. I didn't like this feeling that things were trending the way that they were supposed to be, and I had no say in the matter. 
He didn't like caring. It felt awful. Letting people in, being vulnerable. Because deep down, I was worried that no matter what I did, I couldn't truly cut loose and be myself anymore because I had to entertain. I had to tread lightly. Because if I didn't, if I failed to behave, or if I happened to behave improperly, they wouldn't be there anymore. And I knew that. So all that careful planning went out the window. I was in unmarked territory. Then of course that does things to a person. For me, I grew desperate. I was stuck in a perpetual fight or flight, so to speak. I tested the people closest to me because I wanted to make sure that they had the same integrity that I had. I set ground rules. My morals, they had to be on full display. But because of that, I was wearing my heart on my sleeve. Offering integrity and expecting it back. So, it was my fault for choosing a few bad eggs. And I adopted various roles. I became the fixer to some, the disciple to others. When you're a jack of all trades, you're a master of none. And I always felt anxious that I was doing something wrong, and I was making mistakes. And the moment I began doubting myself, failure became inevitable. And all this time I spent building walls to keep people out. Them shattered with them broken. I didn't know what to do. One too many times I tested the people around me, pushed them, trying to gauge their limits. But all I succeeded in doing was pushing them away. And pushing people away just became the new source of failure. And no matter what I did, you couldn't avoid that. If people grew tired of you, that was it. There was no fixing that. But in the end, I feel like when I stopped planning, I lost something very important to me. Myself. 
I don't feel like I've ever quite recovered from it. And the sense of vulnerability makes going back difficult. The way I was, I'd probably laugh at myself now. Because I wasn't afraid to lose people, to ruffle feathers. But the truth of the matter was, I'd just gotten used to it. The shadow that lies within me so many people that he just went numb to it. It was of no consequence anymore. And that terrifies me now. Being so utterly alone that no matter who left or who injured me, I just bounced back from it. surrounded myself with such great people that I don't know if I could ever do that to them. If I could ever just stop caring. But I felt those cracks. This is the end.